everybody and welcome to Garden Style. Well, it is a very blustery, windy day here in Washington. It definitely feels like fall. So if it gets a little windy for the microphone or it gets a little loud, I apologize ahead of time. It's one of the hazards of trying to record outside. So today we are going to be covering how to plant layered pots with bulbs. And I happen to have four different kinds here. I've got hyacinths, daffodils, tulips, and crocuses. And then I'm going to show you how you can actually plant the top of the pot so it actually looks pretty during the fall uh, before these start to spring through in the spring. So you can go ahead and follow along with me as I get up a little closer and you can get a bigger shot. And I'll show you how to layer a pot full of bulbs. It is so easy. So here we go. Okay. So I have about four inches of soil, maybe five, in the bottoms of these pots to start with. And then I'm going to start layering with the hyacinth bulbs first, then we'll go with the tulips, then the daffodils, and then last but not least the crocuses on top. So here we go. So I always turn the bulb so that you have the tip at the top and you can easily tell where the roots have been on the bottom. And you just place those on top. And I probably have about oh, a dozen of them here that I'm going to put in between the two pots. And I love having hyacinths on the front porch, especially in the spring. They smell so good when they come up through the soil. So I just kind of drill them in there like that. Definitely have another extra. I've got six there. I'll scooch these over and we'll put six in here. And then I layer on some more soil. Like I got a leaf blown in there. Let me just cover them up. And then we're going to go with the daffodils. Then I've got some dusty millers that I'm going to put in here.
Voila. Okay. So there's some quick, easy, simple bulb pots. And the fun part about this whole thing is, is not only can you plant over the tops of them, um, I probably could have added some more plants to these pots, but I actually have a plan a little closer to Christmas to actually add some greenery to these pots and get some usage out of them during the holidays. Um, so that's a little trick I'll be showing you later on. Now the tulips, the hyacinths, the daffodils, and the crocuses, man, if only they could tell us the story. They, of course, the ones that I purchased here are all from Holland, um, which is where probably billions of our bulbs come from. And I would really encourage you to get on YouTube and just watch the process that these bulbs go through before they actually bake it into your pot at home. Uh, I found it very fascinating. Uh, there's about a 45 minute video that just shows you from beginning to end what these bulbs go through, from getting planted in the fall to where they're finally coming up in the spring. They actually cut all their heads off, which actually sends more energy down into the bulbs and then they harvest them during the summer. And this harvesting process is just absolutely amazing to me um, as to what they go through to get the bulbs onto the shelf so that we can actually purchase them. So I encourage you to watch that video. I just found it really fascinating, so hopefully you will too. But uh, no worries about these bulbs and how tightly they're in the pots. They will find a way to meander their way through up to the top and give you a beautiful show during the spring. Now, I haven't planted this many in a pot before. Um, I know it can be done, so you'll just have to tune in next spring, oh, about February, March, and I'll show you some of the results, and we'll just kind of watch them as each different bulb starts coming up through the top. And of course, the crocuses will show up first, which will be really exciting. That's when you know spring is just around the corner. And then you're gonna see your hyacinths, your daffodils, and lastly, the tulips is how all that will be timed. And of course, they're all masked out in these pots, so it'll just be a beautiful spot of color, which is something we're absolutely starving for by the time late winter rolls around in early spring. So hopefully that gives you some encouragement and a little more knowledge and know-how on how to plant multi-layers of bulbs in your pots. The trick is, is to make sure you have very good drainage and they have to stay outside. Um, bulbs do what they do after they've been through a winter and have, ex and have experienced cold weather, I mean really cold weather, and that's what actually tells them to start sprouting through during the late winter, early spring. So I always like a nice surprise in the early spring and hopefully you do too. Alright you guys, next week I'm going to be covering with you how to overwinter different plants, things like your cannas, begonias, um, I might even do geraniums and how to overwinter those as it is now getting towards the middle of October and I know for me here in zone 8 it's time to bring in the cushions and start bringing in the plants and that's a perfect time for me to cover with you guys how to overwinter your different plants so that you can save them and bring them out again next year. So until then, any questions or comments you can get a hold of me at GardenStyleNW.com or email me at gardenstylenwest at gmail.com. And of course, there's lots of room in the description box down below for any comments that you may have. And uh, yeah, tune in with me next spring and I'll definitely follow up with you and show you how these turned out. Meanwhile, hope you guys are having an awesome fall. And yep, it's getting about that time to wrap it up. All right, you guys, take care and we'll see you next week. Bye for now.